everyone and welcome back to Cosplay Tea Time, a fun source where cosplayers record those awesome podcasts that y'all have been listening to. We talk about random themes such as anime, shows, colors, holidays, and sometimes we like to ask you all for the questions, which is today's theme, a little Cosplay Tea Time Q&A. So we asked folks to send in their questions, we combined some frequently asked questions, and whatnot, so we can't wait to get started with those. But first, I want to introduce our guest and tea sippers here with me today, starting with... <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Naomi. You know me as La Blast Cosplay on TikTok. Bella? Or Mousy? Wait, wait, where's Bella? No Bella. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mousy. Hi! have made an appearance! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's welcome so back, Mousy. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, I'm Mousy. I am the mascot of Cosplay Tea Time. You can look at our little cute logo. Ah, so adorable. Yes, and we're and so excited. Mm -hmm. Love cheese. You do love cheese. <laughs> We'll create one of these days a mousy <laughs> cheese uh, line just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he lost his mind. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, Ready? So, yes, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Jen. Uh, I'm the founder of Cosplay Tea Time as well as today's host. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Jen Period Cosplays 45. So, Woohoo! Intros are done, out of the way, hip hip hooray. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with some of the frequently asked questions, which I'm going to go ahead and address, and then we'll ask our tea sippers for, for, uh, for those questions, and then we'll ask our tea sippers some interesting questions before we get into our uh, the featured questions, the ones that folks sent in. So we're going to start with what inspired cosplay tea time? And this was actually sent into by Demon Interviews, aka Springy. He also asked this question as well. Uh, so what inspired cosplay tea time is long, long ago. JK, it was like two years ago. Actually, in this month that we're recording and probably going to post. I wanted to do like a vintage Nora, um, like kind of 50, 60 style. Uh, I was finding like a lot of audios and whatnot, had a bunch of teacups, little teapot, and whatnot, so I was like, you know what, uh, so Cosplay Tea Time came from the inspiration from Vintage Nora, where I found this dress at a nearby thrift store, turned the corner, and there was the hat, so it was, like, meant to be, um, mm -hmm. so I do love, uh, to cosplay, obviously, I love Tea Time, uh, you know, I did an interview with Demon Interviews, which we'll post the link somewhere here. I think you can do that. I'll work it out. We'll figure it out. If not, it'll be down in the description below, uh, for sure. So, yeah, just wanted, I just wanted to create a space where cosplayers could come, take a moment out of their day, kind of sit, unwind, share stories and experiences. And not only that, but viewers out there too would listen and hopefully chime in in the comments down below that, you know, hey, well, this happened to me, or, you know, maybe even other questions. So it's kind of just more for folks to share their stories, share their experiences, share their tips and tricks, especially in the sewing and the prop making videos. So we have those as well. <clears throat> uh, next up, we have what was the inspiration for the logo? So that was hard. <laughs> Um, I had no idea what to do for a logo. I know I wanted a teacup, but I was like, there has to be something a little bit more than just a teacup. So, uh, Bella was the one that, uh, was like, well, what about Mousy? Mousy could come in and he could sit inside the little teacup and it would be so cute and perfect. So, <clears throat> Bella actually created the logo and then I commissioned from Pink Rain Art, uh, over on Instagram. I'm like, you know, could you use your digital magic and make this look so nice and so perfect for our little cosplay podcast and you know they were willing to help help me out a little bit there so i was very very grateful for that so yes it gives off um i've said this before to like alice in wonderland vibes because <clears throat> there is like a tea party scene with like the mad hatter and like the little mouse in the teapot 
I know Mouse, he sits in a teacup, but yellow mouse in the teapot and all that. So he's just kind of going for that as well. So that's one of my favorite uh, fairy tales and books. So, okay. So if you're hearing all this for the first time and you're like, gee, like I want to join, uh, there is a way to join. So how can one join? You message us on our Instagram. Again, look for Mousy's logo. That's how you know we're the one and only. You just message us on Instagram. You're like, hey, I'm a cosplayer. I'm interested. Uh, we have a Discord link, so we'll send you that. There's a couple odds and ends. Like, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, you're 18 and older. We have a couple rules to go by. Uh, there's tech tests, which we'll get here in a minute. And then to just filling out an intro and definitely sharing those social media platforms. This is definitely a place to, uh, oh, you just had the word and it just, flew away it was like the uh promotion there we go like self promo your links and whether it's like etsy instagram deviantart share it all share your link trees <laughs> put it that way okay so i mentioned a few seconds ago about a tech test so what is a tech test why is it important and who does the tech test that would be bella but mousy's gonna take it away and kind of explain what are they and what do you do? This is my show now. Just joking. My segment, actually. So for the tech test, what happens is that when you come into the server, I will give you a tech test. And what she's really going to do with the tech test is run up for what you're going to need in the beginning. And then she's going to ask you if you need any help understanding something. And it's like technology related or you have any uh, technological issues, so that way you can solve it. And she really makes it available for the whole hour in case it takes a whole hour, but really kind of just takes between like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on if you have questions or not. And there's no um, application to uh, figure out and solve. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that just kind of helps to make sure that, you know, video quality is good, audio quality is good, it's compatible. You know, we use Discord a lot to record our calls, and some days are better than others with Discord, so we just want to make sure that, you know, everything's up to up to par and whatnot. So it's kind of our little tech test. So let's see. Um, so in the past, we've done uh, recorded interviews. We've done uh, Comfy Cozy Con about a year ago, which was uh, online. However, a question I sometimes do get asked is, will Cosplay Tea Time come to a live convention? <clears throat> like In the flesh, we'll be there. I have hopes and dreams that one day we will be. I planned out several different little doodads in my head one of them just being like we would have like a booth like a table and just have like you know like a laptop with our uh like our record a podcast going we'd have tea we'd have like little fun stickers or something just like you know place and that way too we can hand out cards and be like well if you want to come and join then this is how you do it so i have a much bigger plan but it's quite more elaborate and i'm not going to explain here so but that's that's my pretty simple plan i would love to if you all have ideas where we should go, <laughs> which convention would be uh, good for us to attend, uh, do let us know. You can message us or comment down below. Next up, oh, conventions the dream. would be a dream, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, so that was live conventions. Uh, how open is cosplay tea time about interviews? So. We've done a few interviews in the past with Demon Interviews and Cospod. We have a playlist for them. Uh, so we are pretty open with doing interviews, kind of sharing our story, what we do, what we're hoping to accomplish with Cosplay Tea Time, and all of that. Uh, however, the general rule is I have to be there since this is kind of my baby. <laughs> like, this is what I do. So, you know, I founded it, host it, and do all the behind the scenes work, which we'll definitely get into here in a second. So, so yes, the rule is I do have to be there. I have to be present. Um, but if it's like, you know, if another tea sipper or guest wants to join in, then that's fine too. But general rule is I have to be there to talk about the show. So 
Yes, but if you want uh, us to come on and talk more about it, if you have questions or, you know, we usually do promotions and stuff on Instagram, you know, whether it's like a, like sharing like a profile, not a profile picture, like a post or something like that, uh, we'll, we'll definitely try to promote those as well. Okay. <laughs> so you probably hear me say a lot of times guest and tea sippers. Uh, so I kind of wanted to clarify, like, what is a guest, what is a tea sipper, and not only that, what is a tea enthusiast? So a guest is somebody who is brand new to cosplay tea time and they have not been on a recording. A tea sipper is someone who has been in one or more recordings. And with tea sippers comes a little bit more, I don't want to say privilege, but a little bit more perks. I guess you could say. <laughs> you get to be in um, a channel with the other tea sippers. Uh, you get to have like a post on Instagram where you can share like your cosplay story. That's with Cosplay Tea Time. And um, there's one other thing. Oh, uh, any like live stream events. If you attend two or more of the podcast recordings, you get to also participate in the live stream recordings as well. And then Tea Enthusiast is, of course, our friends and fans out there, family who might be watching. And usually on Instagram, if folks tag, so let's say like this episode comes out and somebody like does like a picture or a video like, oh, like, you know, I'm watching Cosplay Tea Time, you know, and stuff like that. And you tag us, we will then share that story and save it to our highlight and say, you know, thank you for watching. We appreciate you. So it's kind of our Tea Enthusiast uh, little highlights, I guess you could say. Okay, my last frequently asked question, and I think I've gotten this like three or four times, is will there ever be a behind the scenes video? And my response every single time is, unless you want to see a lot of Google spreadsheets and Google Docs, maybe. <laughs> it's not that glamorous. I'm usually the one just kind of trying to piece things together, trying to figure out dates and times, trying to get people's schedules and like the different time zones. It's a lot of work. Um, I would one day want to do like a recording and do like an after hour, so not like tea, but like after hours and make like mocktails or something and then just like talk about behind the scenes, uh, you know, talk about like editing, how we post, um, you know, what we do and stuff. So. It's just, it's not very glamorous. I know like a lot of behind the scenes, like, oh, it's perfect, but it's just me sitting at a computer, just like click, 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 like, it is what it is. We get it done though. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, let's see. That kind of wrapped up my frequently asked questions. So now I'm going to turn it over to the tea suppers with some fun questions for them to address. So Naomi, get ready. Uh, what can one do in the Cosplay Tea Time Discord server? Well, other than make friends here, you can get to know more of the cosplay community and tips and tricks on how to, like, say, make a pair of wings to actually function. Mouthy? Mm -hmm. Oh, when you come into Cosplay Tea Time, you come in the server. Uh, yeah, we actually make like a lot of good friends. We learn a lot of stuff because if you look at it this way, it's uh, different people that know how to do different stuff. But then again, you also feel like, you know, a family because, you know, you spend time with these people despite them either being on Just Crew or a crew and, um, Tea sipper or gas or just tea sipper or just gas, you know? And, you know, you actually really find enjoyment in the different people that you meet and just what they know versus what you know. And then you all learn from each other. I think that's very beautiful in a, mm -hmm. um, a community like this. <laughs> Sorry, I just scrolled. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. We're giving you lots of hearts, Mousy. <laughs> That was well said. You warmed up my heart for sure. <laughs> oh, oh my god. If I didn't, I think I would have turned to stone. Oh. Ah. No, Mousy, come back. Oh, uh -oh. 
Oh, uh, Messi found a snack. <laughs> oh no. All right. Yes. So there's a lot of uh, just heartwarming people. A lot of folks who know like different techniques uh, can share different links to different sites whenever we need glasses or a shirt or something. So yeah. And not only that too, we have um, the different like channels i don't know like different like shows i guess you could say like there's spike's family ruby definitely has a bunch carmen rider uh i think chainsaw man is the latest one which i need to go watch probably do that after this so yes there's like different uh like channels that's what they're called goodness different channels and then you can just talk about the show share pictures gifts cosplays all that fun stuff so that's always fun to chat in as well nice snack time <laughs> okay next up we have which recording was your favorite to record and slash or watch hmm. honestly my favorite podcast to record was probably the ocs because we got to know a bit more of each other's character that they created <laughs> now see Oh, I really can't decide because they're all just pretty good, you know? I mean, like, there's the ruby one, and then there are the color ones that are already posted, and then other ones coming out, you know? <laughs> I like them all. Why do you have to make me choose? <laughs> ah! That's why we have the playlist, because then you can just click on one and then watch it all. So, makes it easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful, mousy. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So, my favorite one to record was the Christmas one last year and the Valentine's Day. Those were just so much fun listening to the stories and, you know, seeing everybody dress up and whatnot. That one... Those two are probably my favorite. My favorite one to watch, uh, which, where's the one, well, I mean, we pretty much pick on Springy on all of them. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the one, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I think, uh, I think the high school AU one was definitely a favorite to, like, rewatch and stuff, and that one's been pretty popular, so, interesting to see okay next up we have where do you buy your cosplays hmm. amazon nothing <laughs> um well you know i get my hats for bella because she likes to crochet and do like a lot of stuff and uh i know where bella gets her cosplays Oh, you do. Are you oh, gonna she... share? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share. So, share. Oh, thank you. <laughs> in the corner. She's like, yes, they are my secrets. I don't care. Um, <laughs> so she goes to many different stores in order to construct her cosplays. Because, you know, she really likes creating and stuff, and it's really good for her. And, you know mental health in general you know and uh you know it just it helps her think and like feel a little bit smarter you're already smart don't look at me like that <laughs> and, uh, yeah she like sit there for hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. and she'll she'll definitely you know come up with something great i know uh this cosplay that she's making around this time she just finished the wig for and she's very happy with it and she's actually really excited to debut it in Brian and Lucy. So hopefully around uh, Christmas or whatever time that she's done with it, she'll she'll debut it and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she she likes to uh, buy her stuff from places like uh, craft supplies. I mean, from like Walmart and Joann's and any place that's affordable or holds a product. And yeah, and she's also a good hairstylist and wig stylist too. So I love you. All the love and appreciation to Bella, yes. <laughs> Alright, um, 
So when I first started buying my cosplays, it was a lot of thrift stores, just uh, thrifting for different fabric, different looks and whatnot, um, but definitely Amazon. Uh, a couple wigs I got from Pro Cosplay, like looking around the room. <laughs> but I definitely do a lot of closet cosplaying, so like uh, the bigger name stores, I'll go in and I'll be like, oh, I could use this shirt for so-and-so and so-and-so, so I kind of like try to double up on certain cosplays. So we're not doing too much. <laughs> I already have two racks of clothing. So it's like, I don't need a third, even though I'm approaching my third year of cosplaying, it's like, don't need that. <laughs> Alrighty, next up is what is a theme that you would want to do as a as a podcast recording? Mm. I honestly don't know. I mean, other than video games, which would be fun, I have no idea. Now see? Thank you. So, um, a theme I would want to do is cheese, but I think a helpful theme for everybody is, uh, styling 101, whether it's, you know, just working on an actual head or, uh, working on a wig, because, uh, to be honest, working on a wig, it's a little bit different than working on a head, just because you have all those steps in the wig cap that just secure down to a mannequin somehow, and, uh, you have to learn how to do securing to different types of mannequins like foam, um, cosmetology, wig, styling, head, you know, the styling has to like the hair embedded into the head. Uh, and then uh, I think I mentioned foam. You mentioned and, foam? Yeah, the actual professional styling uh, wig heads that are just like, remind me of like a ball. I don't know. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yes, so I know definitely next year we'll do a video games theme, and I do want to talk about wigs and wig styling. We'll definitely need Bella there for that recording. So, uh, cheese? I don't know. How would that work? Just make like a yellow shirt and put holes in it. Swiss cheese. <laughs> you got all kinds of cheese! Oh, we can make like little charcuterie <laughs> boards. Oh, like a little cheese board. Oh, I will <laughs> definitely be there for that recording. <laughs> oh my! Uh, oh my gosh! Yes, we do have a word document that we all have access of, and I just try to encourage people to put the their thoughts into it. I've seen. Like vintage, I've seen Demon Slayer. I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe Chainsaw Man. Again, I still need to watch it, but yeah, well, we definitely have a lot of fun themes to plan out. So always exciting. Okay, so I have one more question for you all before we address uh, featured questions from Tea Enthusiast, which is: Have there been any mishaps before or during recording? Like any troubles with with recording or during the recording. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly. Uh, hmm. Well, sometimes audio issues. Oh, yeah. Mousy? Yeah. I know when the yellow recording at some point Bella's hat fell off. Bella's hat? That's okay. it. That's it. The wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wi Fi is definitely a big issue, especially if it's like storming <sighs> outside or if somebody's like mowing or something. It's just like, could you like not for an hour, please? <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, uh, I can't control this, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I've definitely had <laughs> some. I've had some wardrobe. One time, I think during the comfort cosplay, my wig cap started like slowly like backing into that. And you can kind of see my face when I realized I'm like, oh, oh. But we still had like 20 minutes worth. So I'm like sitting there with like half my wig cap on and off. And I'm just like, I really want to take it off, but people are talking, so we need to wait. So this is great. <laughs> really working out. It's it's secure now. I've I've learned how to secure the wig cap. So 
Um, there's during the Christmas recording, I almost toppled over my little Christmas tree. I am definitely a very klutzy person. I am not technology oriented. Actually, yesterday when I was getting ready to put in my earphone piece, uh, it fell into my glass of already filled tea. And I swear it happened in slow motion. It was like, like just very slowly like fell in and I was like staring at it. I'm like, oh crap, I need to get that out. Like, does it still work? Like, what do I do? <laughs> and stuff like that. So it happens. You know, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So it happens. Mm -hmm. Not the headphones! Not the headphones! I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. We would have made it work. No worries. Okay, so now comes the exciting part of the show, at least for today, where we have featured questions from tea sippers. We're going to start with our first one being from the Dark Vincini 2. So, again, we're going to go Naomi, Mousy, back to Jen. What was the most mm -hmm. difficult cosplay you made slash wore? Honestly, the most difficult cosplay I had to wear was my OC because I had to get like so much jewelry on. And my dress was back zipper and I was like, <laughs> mousy. Mm -hmm. It was Halloween, and I was a young chap. My, uh, my mom made me a sailor outfit because I wanted to be a sailor, you know? And, um, uh, thought I could make the hat stick with tape, but no. It just kept falling off. I'm like, how do I do this? And that was before I knew, oh, just, uh, hat glue clips in it. Right. Oh, and then when I try, I'm like, but I don't have any hair. Hmm. Me to work now, see. I believe in you. <laughs> and hot glue, hot glue, everything. <laughs> Cosplayer's <laughs> favorite. Oh, so <laughs> let's see. The most difficult cosplay that I've made slash worn is Daisy May from Animal Crossing. The skirt came out cute. The dress came out cute, her little apron, but it's her basket because she has like a basket of turnips on her head. And I thought I found the perfect one online. I actually think it was this one, but it's too small for the turnips because they're like huge. And like trying to balance that on a satin kerchief tied with like red strings, it's it's so hard to do. So I get like two or three photos and then just give up and just hold the basket of turnips and just be like... This is what you get. We can it work. So yes, thank you for sending in your question. Much love. All right, we have one more question. This is from a good friend of mine. Uh, they want to know, how are y'all the most awesome people ever? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh my I guess we're just that way. That's the best question ever. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're just that way. I guess so. I feel so loved. I feel oh. so loved. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was a nice little question to end on. Is that we're only here because people want to watch us. We're here to share stories and create this type of content. So hoping it one day makes a difference for someone. That's that's my goal and hope at least. Okay, but that wraps up our little Q&A video, but before we take off, let me see if our uh, tea sippers here with me have any questions. No? Mm -mm. Mousy, any questions? Um, I don't have any questions, but I do have an answer for the question that was just asked. Okay. <laughs> we are some of the most awesome people because we have some of the most awesome cast and awesome listeners. So, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. We love you. Yes, we do love our viewers, our fans, folks that have supported us, the folks that are here with us. It just means, it means a lot to me, and I hope for other folks as well that this can kind of check up. I'm not going to get emotional. We're not going to go down that road. So let's go ahead and wrap this, this little uh, Q&A, our very first Q&A. So I 
hope it went pretty well. I thought it did. So <laughs> we'll definitely do one here in the future. Maybe as we're getting more questions, different questions. Uh, definitely see. I know on our Instagram, we do have like a box highlight. Uh, so if you want to send in questions there, if we get enough, we'll probably do another Q&A video. So stay tuned. And that means you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Um, just want to say thank you again for the folks that joined me. Thank you for coming, sharing questions, sharing answers, sharing your experiences. I, I really do appreciate y'all. So end with that. So if you want to join, uh, be an esteemed tea sipper or just hang out in probably the coolest cosplay community server that I know, uh, do message <laughs> us on our Instagram. So, but until then, until our next time, little tea time, we hope everyone is taking care, staying safe, and as always, keep sipping away. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm. Bye, snurp, snurp, snurp. Bye.